I just got an email from Hassan, a Unity game developer, asking about an article that I wrote on how to optimize for uh, overdraw in Unity. Now, if you know what overdraw is, then uh, we can possibly skip the next 15 seconds. If not, a way to put it simply is that overdraw happens whenever you render the same fragment on the screen, the same pixel, multiple times. Okay? This happens, for example, with transparency, right? If I put something like my hand, I write, you know, I render the hand, and then I put my glasses on, the pixels of the glasses are rendered after the pixels of the hand, right? And therefore, we are touching the same fragments more than once. This is overdraw, and this is a problem on games, right? Because it just kills your GPU performance. Now, the question that Hassan had was about, you know, uh, I really like your article, but here's my use case. Do you have any additional tip for that? So let's actually get into that because I think it might offer a fresher perspective, especially for 2D game developers. So, hi Ruben, I read your article about Ovedro and it was very helpful. Thank you very much. I have a big problem, which is 2D parallax background. The thing consists of multiple layers, each layer taking a certain percentage of the screen, and the overdraw view inside the Unity editor is showing a high amount of overdraw. Is there any way to handle 2D overdraw? There is no transparency to remove. Sincerely. Okay, dear Hassan. Hassan, Hassan, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If you have a picture in mind, great. Um, it took me a while just to kind of figure out what Hassan was meaning. And I think we can show that like this, right? So as you know, the parallax effect is when we can simulate the different depth, right? The different depth of the scene, even if we are in a 2D world, right? If you go from left to right and such, you see the movement of backgrounds going at different speeds, which kind of gives you the impression of being a 3D world, even if it's totally flat, right? And we do this by stacking backgrounds, stacking layers, right? This is one of the best pictures that I found to explain this, right? So thanks and credits to MGG, I think it's called Mobile Game Graphics, for this image. Uh, it is hosted in Open Game Art, if you're interested. But yeah, this is a way to visualize this setup that we are talking about, okay? So you see each quad here, right? Each quad is basically one layer. Think of that as a sprite or as a layer, but as it's just called in Photoshop, right? So the problem with this is that when we are stacking layers, I know that the rectangles are not uh, aligned, but um, that should still be fine to explain this. When we have multiple layers, we are drawing pixels many, many times for each fragment. For example, let's assume that I'm talking about one pixel in the screen. For example, the one that it's uh, on the bottom, so on the top left of the screen, right? Let's assume that that quad that I just drew is just one pixel. So first, we are drawing from uh, from further away to front, right? Back to front, because we are talking about sprites that are rendered as semi-transparent materials. So first, we draw this plane, right? So we we write into this uh, pixel. The second fragment is also here which will overwrite the pixel that we had rendered before, right? It will just do that by merging the colors of the previous one plus the new color uh, of this layer, right? That's why we are uh, having no overdraw already, right? We are just writing more fragments than pixels in the screen. Then we will have another one and 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 finally another one here. You see that we have in this screen many, many levels of overdraw. Right? 
it's just going to be a huge number mostly because you know this is just for one pixel of the screen right for just one pixel we drew one two three four five six seven and eight fragments that's another draw level of eight x that's a lot because it's just not one pixel it is the whole screen and this situation gets much worse when we have high display resolutions okay so what can we do the, the, the main thing is honestly to just reduce the amount of transparent areas that we have in these sprites right let me just quickly remove this uh, these pixels here because I'm going to focus on one layer I'm going to focus on the not in the in the first one okay the first one would be this one or at least the closer one right this would be the, f the, the closest one to the camera and this one you know this one for example would be all about doing the terrain you see that's the closest thing and that's the first layer right so what you want to do with each layer is to cut the mesh as tight as you can so that you avoid rendering, rendering any transparency right? so if you do not do that what happens is that we are rendering all these sections that are fully transparent right and that is going to still be expensive right that's what happens traditionally if you're not careful right with unity you can kind of control this in many many, di many different ways right but the keyword that you're looking here for is tight meshes so how you do this depends on the technology that you're using because you might be using UI images, you might be using sprite renderers, you might be using mesh renderers, it depends. But the concept is a key here. Make sure that you only render uh, opaque areas or s at least semi transparent. And the top fully transparent ones, we do not want that to be part of the mesh. So ideally, we would like to get rid of the top section of this layer, right? Now, a more interesting case would be the second layer, right? Because the first one would be quite easy. Just remove 80% of that. With the second layer, it's all about the trees and the bushes, right? I hope that you can see it. I know that it might be a bit confusing. So what do we do there? Again, we just need to shave off the areas where we have no um, nothing like no opaqueness right so that would mean what we need to remove this 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 and we can even go as far as to try to cut the shape of the mesh in a way that we remove also the areas that are empty between the trees like I'm just showing you here right? these areas should be also cut away from the mesh if you do this for every single layer you will end up with much less Overdraw. And of course, there are a lot of techniques that we could speak about to um, remove overdraw, or at least to reduce it, right? I'm, I mean, it's not going to be possible to fully remove it, but to reduce it by at least, I don't know, uh, an 80%, right? There are a lot of techniques, just like once, uh, that I, uh, one technique that I, co that I talked about last month in the Unity Performance Task Force, which is, for example, to use the stencil buffer. But in this case, that wouldn't be the best approach either, right? I just say that there are a lot of ways that you can tackle overdraw, even if it's 2D, right? Because honestly, um, for example, just even looking at this image, a lot of these elements are fully opaque. So do we need to treat this as, you know, semi-transparent material? It can possibly be just fully opaque, right? And if you do this as an opaque material, you can possibly remove all the overdraw. I'm not saying this is always the possibility, right? Especially if you cannot get a really tight mesh out of this. But, you know, uh, there are well over five other techniques that we can follow to reduce overdraw here. So this is the kind of questions that I love answering in the Unity Performance Task Force Q&As. I just love to be able to show you with uh, graphics, charts, text, whatever it takes, solutions to, po to, to possible problems that you are having uh, these days.
So if you're curious about the Unity Performance Task Force and you want to learn about performance optimization techniques and assist to my Q&As, just go to the link below or type www.performancetaskforce.com. I hope that you liked this video. Let me know if that was useful and if you have more questions. Take care.